This diagram is a square with line segment in it. If AB is 14, BC 7, and CD 9. Find the length of the square. To solve this problem, first, let's draw a diagonal from point A to point D. Next, let's extend line AB by drawing a parallel line that is equal to line CD from point B. Let this point be E. Since line BE is equal to line CD, it follows that line BE is 9 units. Next, if we draw another line parallel to line BC from D to E, notice that this line will be equal to line BC. If that is the case, we can say that line DE is equal to 7 units. Since this is a right angle, this will also be a right angle. Next, let's consider triangle ADE. Notice that triangle ADE is a right triangle with AE equal to AB plus BE. AB is 14 units and BE 9 units. It follows that AE is equal to 14 plus 9. 14 plus 9 is 23 units. So, AE is 23 units, and DE is 7 units. Next, we are going to apply Pythagoras' theorem, in this triangle, to find the diagonal AD. From Pythagoras' theorem, AD squared is equal to AE squared, plus DE squared. If we go ahead to substitute the value of AE and DE in this equation, we will have AD squared is equal to 23 squared plus 7 squared. 23 squared is 529 and 7 squared is 49. So, AD squared is equal to 529 plus 49. 529 plus 49 is 578. Hence, AD squared is equal to 578. Note that the diagonal AD will be the square root of 578. But we will make use of the value of AD squared as we go further. So, no need taking the square root. Before we proceed, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you make sure to never miss my videos. Next, let's call this point F. Since this shape is a square, then each angle in every corner is a right angle. Now, if we consider triangle ADF, notice that triangle ADF is also a right triangle. And in this triangle, AF is X, and DF is also X. That is, both are the sides of the square. Going further, we will also apply Pythagoras' theorem to this triangle to find x. From Pythagoras' theorem, AD squared is equal to AF squared plus DF squared. If we go ahead and plug in the value of AD squared, AF, and DF in this equation, it follows that 578 is equal to x squared plus x squared. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. So, 578 is equal to 2x squared. Next let's divide both sides by 2. 2 will cancel out 2, and 578 divided by 2 is 289. So, we are left with x squared is equal to 289. Taking the square root of both sides will give us x is equal to square root of 289. Square root of 289 is 17. Hence, the length of the square is 17 units. Thanks for watching.
If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.